Hi everyone, Erin from Softree here. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how easy and interactive it is to move around in the 3D window of our terrain module. First things first, let's get that 3D window showing. Now, so that we can see both our plan and our 3D view, let's tile the two windows vertically. In the 3D window, zooming and panning behave in a very similar way to the plan window. We can either use the Zoom Tools toolbar, or we can use our middle button on our mouse to move around within the window. One of the different things the 3D window gives us is the ability to rotate the image. You can click and jog with your left mouse to adjust this view. When clicking with our selection cursor on a feature in the plan window, you'll see that that same current point is represented by a three-dimensional red cross in our 3D window. Through our 3D options dialog box, we're going to enable two different features. The first is our track mouse checkbox. When we move our mouse over the 3D surface, there is a cursor tracking our position inside the plan window. Similarly, if we move the mouse over the plan window, a line will appear in our 3D window indicating the same position. The View Current Point feature we enabled allows our view to change to center to that point in our 3D window. As well, if we click and drag with our left mouse in the 3D window, the image will rotate about the point. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I encourage you all to get in and play with the different options our 3D and plan windows provide.